at all but maybe it will right good morning everyone good afternoon so good morning if you're in the uk uh good afternoon if you're anywhere else um especially good morning sorry good afternoon if you're in the uk good morning if you're anywhere else uh special good morning to uh people in portland and oregon or northern california who were hoping to go to portland tomorrow so let me tell you where i'm at um, as somebody who is named in this, hello, Sarah, as somebody who's named in this movement and face is widely known amongst those that know. Um, so that would be trans activists. Um, there's even a principal in Portland who have basically said that I'm connected to David Duke. So readily painted as a Nazi, um, not just sort of by random people. This is a principal school. And then um, trans activists apparently are bussing in and Antifa are bussing in. And I've been told by both locals in Seattle and in Portland that Antifa have killed people and kind of got away with it. I've also got communication from the police that basically says you're not permitted to have an event. And the gist of it, and I will publish it, but the gist of it is um, whilst you have the right to free speech, we won't protect your right to free speech. So um, maybe it's a little more explicit, maybe my interpretation of what they've actually said is not quite so bad. So, um, so sorry I couldn't meet you Kelly. Is that Shannon? Shannon, you should email me at theposyparker at gmail if you are local. So look, Portland is not completely off limits, but Portland is off limits if I don't have a huge budget for security um, or certainly to do something that would minimise the risk to myself and other women. Uh, there are some women that have been complaining that, you know, with this documentary, how is it anything without Portland? Well, it's also nothing if if it turns into a the death of Kelly, J, <laughs> the death of Kelly J or remember that time that woman in Portland got killed? I don't think that is the gotcha moment that it would uh, that women would like to see either. I don't think women getting beaten up in the street is also a gotcha moment. I think by now, if lawmakers and policymakers are not persuaded that women's rights are at risk or that it's wrong to mutilate children's bodies, I don't think women being beaten in the street is actually going to convince them. Um, so that is my instinct on this. However, there is no way on earth that I want Portland to be left. Um, as a place that we feel too fearful to do anything it's just um i'm too fearful to be out in the street with my silly five foot one body and bright blonde hair uh, basically asking antifa to come and find me um that's not the sort of chicken that i fancy playing and if other women want to do that that's fine but other women aren't being named um you know, there's no big poster with any of the other women that have that think that we really should do this. There's no that their faces aren't on Twitter. Um, and I've got four children. And whilst they probably think I'm an idiot most of the time, I think they they probably are better off with me than without me. Um, Brett Weinstein and Heather High have actually moved out of Portland. They they finally had enough. Uh, mm. Anyway. There are many, many ways to skin this particular rancid cat. Um, and it doesn't have to compromise safety. However, if you want Portland to be on this tour uh, and part of this documentary, if you want it, if you want us to be able to do something, then it basically takes funds. Um, and I've been in touch with a few local uh, guerrilla tactic people. Um, uh, Halida Rusi says, with 9 99 thank you so much. Um, Kelly, it's really no joke there. The police do not exist. Ambulances are slow to respond. It's very dangerous there. I mean, look, I think that is the story in itself that needs telling on this documentary, that there are places in the United States of America that are really, really unsafe for women to speak about our rights. I think that is that should be documented in this documentary, which it will. Um, however, look, I haven't always gone and publicly demonstrated to make a point. I haven't always said to women to go and risk their safety to make a point. There are other ways that we can do this. Um, 
as a minimum, we're talking about 5,000 US dollars uh, for one of the things that I think would be really effective and impactful in uh, sending the message that a woman is an adult human female. I've done it before. Um, I believe I can do it again. Um, there are, you know, there are ways and means of delivering this message, but me being injured is, is not one of those ways or means, and I've got other cities to consider. Um, however, if you are in Portland, um, so yeah, thank you, Band United. She says, donate, donate. Uh, you can go to givebutter.com forward slash Posey Parker USA doc, or you can go to standingforwomen.com forward slash documentary. Um, uh, there, Ash Brown says, how about buy, buying a load of billboard space in Portland? This is the sort of thing we're talking about. Uh, with America, it makes it in the UK. A uh, paper billboard is £700 plus VAT, wherever you have it. Um, in the US, they have, depending on where it is, they have different uh, prices. And obviously, we have to battle the idea that they might not want us to put a billboard up. Um, ah, thank you, Aquamarina. Smash the like button. Donated 50 bucks and my turf BFF sent you £50. Well, thank you so much. Um Look, the opposition is well-funded, well-connected, and also is seen as righteous and morally correct in the eyes of people making the laws that mutilate kids. And even if they don't think they're morally correct, there is something, there is some huge amount of dirty money flowing around this entire issue here. I don't believe for a moment that it's not um, people that are have a vested interest, um, either financially or emotionally, that are pushing through this absolute crazy that is everywhere. Um, so, if you're in Portland, and I've already communicated with you, if you're a member of Standing for Women, and I, you can be verified, then you need to get in touch with me in the next hour at theposyparker at gmail.com. And um, we can, if you're available in the next five hours, and you would like to come and talk to us and be on the documentary and talk about what it's like to live in Poland, um, what it's what your policymakers are like, what's happened to the police, where, when did this sort of start really turning quite nasty for women, then I'd really like to talk to you and I'd really like to get your story uh, onto this documentary. Um, Cat Lady, Kiki Feral Fox, with your 50... Sorry, I'm so unwell as well with your $50. Thank you. Please stay, Kelly, please stay safe. We'll showcase Portland's behaviour for the doc differently. So honoured to meet you in San Francisco. You're very welcome. Mm. So, to reiterate, <laughs> Judith Butler, I'm sure that's not you, with 449, Portland is a hellhole from hell. Please keep safe. We need you back in one piece. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so anyway, I... <sighs> I feel really bad because I feel like we shouldn't be afraid and I I feel like the public square should be safe for women it's but but it's been really made very clear that it's not going to be safe and I know I say I always win and I think winning actually is walking away from this alive so I don't feel like I'm abandoning my first rule of um Kelly J which is I always win um but it is you know, it's not ideal. I thought it would be fun to go into Portland, but these aren't middle class bratty students that will come out. These are these are really, really violent, violent and psychopathic um, men that just don't mind hurting people. These are really, really organised. I have no idea who is funding them or who it benefits or something really sinister about this particular kind of group of vigilantes which are seen as genuinely anti-fascist when actually <laughs> they literally are the fascists. Um, so I hope that you forgive me for not doing Portland um, and I hope that you will help me by donating to Give Butter or standingforwomen.com forward slash documentary so that we can ensure that we've done something in Portland that we can feel proud of um, that really does send a message to everyone but it doesn't put any woman at risk because that is not, I'm not interested in that. Um, also, can I just say for the record, if you are involved in any of the activism or any coming out, uh, 
I am not asking anyone to pledge anything. I have not pledged to any um, NDVA uh, or anything that may have been sent around in groups. That is not how I operate. I don't ask grown women to behave in a certain way. Every woman or man that comes to anything that I do is responsible for their own behavior. Um, if you want to follow some sort of code or activist way of behaving that you feel will keep you more safe, then that's entirely up to you. But that is not something that I'm endorsing at all. Um, it's not something I particularly uh, agree with for myself. Um, if somebody came and attacked me, I don't want, I, I don't care about whether or not I would fight back. Um, I, that would just be all down to my instincts. I'm certainly not going to stand and cower and, and be physically attacked by anybody. So, um, yeah. Anyway, my voice is so low. I feel like I'm paying homage to Madge Bishop right now. Um, our bond with your five pounds. Thank you very, very much. Um, Jack says they are not fascists. Fascists cared about human biology. I don't know. I think, I think, um, I don't know whether Stalin or uh, Hitler were different to men and women. Mm. I don't think in experiments on pregnant women was anything to do with caring about biology. Um, Maggie the Cat, zero one. Uh, thank you so much for your forty four ninety nine for security or whatever else will be useful. Thank you so much for stepping up. Thank you very much. I promise you, I've got some fam fantastic ideas about what we can do. It is, you know, everything that we do here has to be with a little bit of wit. Um, and so there are some things that I really do feel will help the cause. Uh, but like I said, they don't put women to risk at risk at all. But you know, we can't do this without your funds. Um, we are not well funded like the opposition. Um, we're not, I'm not a filmmaker. Um, I'm, I'm having a film made, but I'm not a filmmaker. Those things do cost money. And uh, Kelly J. Keane, this is from, oh, hi, Band United. Thank you, as always. This is mental that you have to explain. Please be safe. As you say, more than one way, one way to skin that cat. It's so true, but I see, <laughs> I've seen some of the comments from people that I, I'm sure they've lived a very different life to me, but I don't have, um, I don't have any uh, experience of being in places where there are fights or brawls or being physically attacked. I've never worked in, um, you know, adult, I've never worked in a, uh, any of those sorts of places, shall we say. And I know some of the women that are quite cross that I'm not going to Portland have worked in the sort of place where I imagine uh, more dangerous activity occurs. So anyway, um, Nicole, uh, what are you saying? Don't give in to fear, KJK. I'm not giving in to fear. I'm actually giving in to my responsibility to my kids and to other women, but predominantly my children. Look, let's just say that I'm not magnanimous at all and I don't care about anybody else. I still don't want uh, my children to have to be fearful that something's gonna happen to me. That's just a ridiculous place to put them. Uh, I just wouldn't do it. I, I love my kids very much and I love my husband and I, I just don't see why I would do that at all. Um, Gorgeous mayhem with your five dollars. Have you reached out to the Patriot Prayer or the Pride Boys in Portland? They would be good for an interview or security. Oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> um, look, everybody is welcome to talk about this. So anybody that wants to get in touch with me, um, I'm, I have no preconceived ideas. Um, I will not be told what people think without asking them. Um, I know what I'm supposed to think about all of these people. And I'm sure there are fringe elements in every group who are crazy. There are certain fringe elements in this group uh, that are particularly crazy in this, this group of so-called TERF. So I'm happy to believe that there are good people and bad people in all walks of life. Um, but I don't know that encouraging mass violence is something that I want to be responsible for. If men want to be violent with each other, then that's absolutely fine. Okay. Um, and uh, is it Boudicca Tudor? You are putting your life on the line going to Portland. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, 
Shannon, where in America are you? I know I've asked before. Um, mm. So weird. Um, I'm not scared of the Pride Boys. There's good people everywhere. Uh, look, it's really interesting that we're allowed to talk about, um, you know, good people and bad people on the left, but not on the right. And I think there are. I think it's ridiculous. Um, sorry, I missed you. Oh, OK. You must have been in San Francisco or LA. It would have been nice. Southern California. Oh, it would have been nice to have seen you. Um, OK. <laughs> Someone says, if you come to Portland, Maine, I'll be there. We have concealed carry here. Oh, I'd love to move to America and have a gun. Um, it'd be so exciting. Uh, I probably wouldn't have one at all. I'd be too frightened. I'd shoot my own leg off. Uh, another idea, buy a billboard truck with a speaker on it and drive through Portland, then Scarpa. Yeah, these are all really great ideas. This, this is definitely uh, something that I'm I'm thinking about. So, sad I don't get to see you lie in my garden. My husband will be relieved. We have concealed carry in Oregon too. Oh, okay. Look. I will be in Seattle. I know that um, Seattle is really bad too, but I think Portland was looking really scary and I think Seattle have actually police that come out and aren't so badly funded. So anyway, look, if you can uh, find imaginative ways to skin this cat, then I promise we will win. Um, uh, Hayley Hansen with your 1999 since Eventbrite sent my donation back. Oh, thank you. Looking forward to Chicago. I'm waiting in line for Matt Walsh event tonight in Wisconsin, the TRA vandalized university property for not cancelling the event. Oh, I wonder whether his where the rest of his tour is, if anywhere. Hmm. Maybe I'll see if I can go. Okay. All right, much love to you all. Um if we can put aside our differences and our prejudices um, and work together and keep our eyes on the prize, then I promise we will win. And you know why else we're going to win? Because I never lose.